Alright, this is um, part three. The other ones are kind of messed up, but this one's how to get to the other ones. So let's uh, let's get to the other ones. <laughs> First, um, if you want to get a 4-bit font and not some crappy plain old font just by changing the numbers, I don't even want to bother going into that. Um, we could download something called the RSRC backup files. And what you do is, um, I'll put these up for you. I'll put them in the in the right in the description. And um, what you do is, you go to layout. Once you uh, download these files, and you um, and you extract the files, you go under firmware editor and lay it, then layout, and make sure you're under scheme layout. Once you do that you go over to load all once you go to load all you go to um, you find the file and I'm just gonna have to find the file real quick uh... let's see let's see ipod and it is under rsrc backup files you might name it something else but oh well you do that, you click OK, and what it does is it changes the value of every, or most of them, changes the value of all of them so that you can put a complex file font type so it's not some crappy old, you know, type from the 80s, you know. <laughs> Either way, once you do that, you're basically set for changing the font color and putting it wherever you want. So since this video is going to be a little too short, we'll press OK, and what we'll do is we'll go over to strings, and say you want to edit a string. First, what you got to do is you got to make sure you go to 24. You go and go to 24 in the list of language block. You're screwed. Uh, you go there, and um, it's going to give you a warning. Oh well, mm, trust me, uh, I've done this before. And let's just say we'll look for uh, we'll look for anything we'll just say um, sleep and what I changed it to was kill iPod change it to that well you find it and then once you find it you press change string I'll just put like one and then you press change string and that's it it's changed